Um, all right, so lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we have this huge expression. And I pretty much what I want to do is just add in a whole bunch of things just to f help you guys remember when we're solving something like this to follow your order of operations. And the best way to remember the order of operations is PEMDAS. I'm not going to write them all out because it's going to take some time and we need to get going on our work. But just remember, PEMDAS represents pretty much parentheses, brackets, grouping symbols, really. Okay. Um, e represents your exponents, which is really exponents, powers, anything raised to a higher, higher, um, higher order. And then remember, we have multiplication and division, which is interchangeable, right? It's not multiplication then division. It's multiplication and division together. But the main thing you guys need to understand is everything, multiplication, division, and um, uh, addition and subtraction are all right to left. So that means we start all the way, I'm sorry, left to right, not to right to left, are all left to right. What that means is, you do the, it doesn't matter which process comes first. We need to make sure we do all the multiplication and division first, and then we do um, addition and subtraction. But the main thing to do is always start all the way to the left, and you work your way to the right. All right. So whenever you guys are doing these problems, make sure you always tackle inside the parentheses first. That's our grouping symbols. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at each one of these parentheses and say, all right, I need to do what's inside the parentheses first. And then I look at this and I say, all right, are there any exponents? No, there's no exponents, right? So then I go multiplication and division. All right, now I need to multiply and divide from left to right. Well, actually, I don't have any multiplication or division, do I? So then all I simply need to do is do addition and subtraction from left to right. So I have 9 plus 6 divided by 8 minus 2 is going to be uh, 6. Jeez, oh man. Minus, going from left to right, 4 plus 3 is 7. Minus 1 or minus 6 is 1. Plus 2 times 3 plus 8 divided by 8. Does everybody follow me with where I got? Okay. Now we do multiplication and division just from left to right. So the only multiplication and division I have is here, here, and here. And again, you just go from left to right. So I have 9 plus 6 divided by 6 is 1, minus 1, plus 2 times 3 is 6, plus 8 divided by 8 is 1. And then now I just go from left to right. 9 plus 1 is 10, minus 1 is 9, plus 6 is 16, plus 1 is 17. What? Oh, yeah, it's 16. I, I, did I not say it out loud? 10, 9, 15, 16. All right, um, you guys have 45 minutes as of